Well, how's it going, Kingsmen? Welcome back to another NTW3 battle. Today, we have more on the Lords Tournament. Today, we have the French invasion, or the invasion of France, my apologies. And the, ooh, already artillery tear into this French line. Um, so this is the um, battle map, is the name, or name. Um, I'll put the name up here, though, for those who want to play this map. Um, yeah, so we have the RC and NR4 fighting against each other today. And we're going to have uh, the RC playing as the French and the Coalition playing the NR4. Sorry, guys, I had to take a brief second to uh, fix some stuff. Uh, the game was looking a little weird. That was, hopefully, it looks a little better. It was coloring and all it was off. But anyway... Um, before this battle starts off, even though we have uh, Mason advancing already here, the seven pointer, um, we'll cover the RC side first. Of course, we have that seven pointer, uh, ten point of Victor. You have a five point. Ooh, the Septile. This is like the elite French. If I'm not mistaken. The elite French. It's a five pointer. It's kind of like the bodyguard. I'm actually not sure what this one was based off of. But then, of course, we also have a 8-point Salt on the left side going up against them. Ooh, looks like we actually have some Kazakis trying to snipe some artillery. Infantry probably going to keep that away. But going up against them on the on the NR4 side, you have an 8-point Wellington, an 11-point Barclay, a 5-point Reed or Red. And a six-point bell guard. So I believe it is, you know, basically Russia, the UK, Bavaria, and Austria. Now this map, it, you know, provides some pretty interesting um, positions for fighting. You can see already here, you have the Russians set up defending. Ooh, actually, you may have this commitment from the Gasares going straight for the Chasser Cheval. Giving them a scare. Oh no, those were Hussars. My apologies. Not even Chasser Cheval. Um, but yes, you have the, the Russians who have artillery. They seem determined to hold this position against the French. Um, they have some LOCs here. A nice little hill. If they drop down to this side, you can see the high ground then gets taken by the French. Now over where Solt's going to be advancing, it's a decent hill that they can position themselves on on the flank. The slope gently going down to the river. And then of course, LOCs all around. The key point, honestly, the Russians may want to hold is this high ground right here. Um, that is going to be obviously very tough considering they have two French corps advancing on their position. And we may see before us, and we will because I've seen the results of the battle, some very, very tough fighting ahead. So buckle down, guys, and, uh, you know, get ready for some awesome fighting. As, as like we're gonna have cavalry once again clashing Kasaris and Hussars clashing artillery gonna get off of their guns and rush back we have some infantry trying to s mm, nah that's not gonna be clean if France does this it is not gonna be clean no 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 France you cannot you cannot pull through <laughs> infantry and cavalry that just doesn't that's not allowed and they're gonna pull back Maybe it was a misclick, I don't know, but it looked it looked a little sketchy for a second there. And obviously we want to have some clean games, but France does get thrown back. And now we have the Russian infantry ready to meet the French lines here. Ooh, some nice volleys from Victor's Corps. And a flanking charge as well by some of the Chasseur Cheval, and it breaks that cavalry unit. And now we have the real clash beginning here. The Russians preparing for the French attack. And this should be a very, very standard fight for now there's not a lot of heavy cav on either side so we're if we see any melee it's mostly going to be infantry on infantry action here with cab more in a supportive role 
uh, which definitely having less cav changes dynamics of fights. We're probably going to see a lot more shooting and a lot less melee here. You have the Voltigeurs pushing up. Oh. Some Lancers going in, trying to drive back. They're trying to keep this artillery pinned down so they cannot move. And more artillery getting sniped. That seems to be the key for the French right now. Try to drive back whatever artillery piece they can. But you can see here, Victor pushing forward here. We may see Austria engaged with Sult very, very soon. Just momentarily here. No reinforcements yet for the Russians. Does look like infantry went in for a bayonet charge. And that did not go well for them. As this part of the fighting is in full swing here, we got another Lancer going in. They're trying to get these 12 pounders as Bavarian lines are now being seen pushing through the back lines here. And the artillery does not break. Artillery set up for Victor. Are we see a bayonet charge? We are. Going for those skirmishers. Ooh, they, ooh, okay, they're, they're gonna make it. Just barely, yeah, they break mutually. Right, both sides still in full swing on this fight. You have more of these Voltiers engaged. Another flank pushing up. Russia's oh. holding just fine oh. as of right Our now. General is under attack. We, we are starting to see the enemy or both sides kind of getting way, way closer by this LOC. As Solt is kind of skirting around the Austrians, um, he may try to reinforce and smack him right here in this flank. He has this high ground he can take. Ooh, a cavalry charge. From the UK, Wellington get, ooh, a beautiful heavy, oh my gosh. All right, there is some heavy cav, or at least medium cav from Wellington. And that is gonna cause a pause in the French Attack. Yeah, he's attacking on several fronts. Look at this, just pinning down French infantry in several spots. And causing breaking from the French. This is not looking good. Victor taking losses. Now over here, Sult is pushing. Austria has... Eh, looks like not the greatest of infantry to face off against them. And outnumbered. We'll see if they put pressure on Austria. They are shifting over this direction, maybe trying to join up a little bit with Victor's core. We do have a cross the air from Victor. I did not see it, honestly. Uh, that's uh, not a very effective heavy cab charge, honestly. But they're still gonna go for it. More cavalry trying to tie up the seven pointer. The square now getting charged. Russia on the offensive. Still, the center has fresh reserves for Victor pushing up, but this is not looking too good. Now, over here, Salt has started to make his push. Just a slow, steady. Austria giving just a little bit of ground at a time. Um, obviously, the pitch fight's happening over here, where the seven-pointer has lost pretty heavy so far. Oh, 
running for the Yeah, this is becoming a bit of a mess. He saved his crossiers. He can get them out of there. They'll still be fine. Ready for the next engagement. Here comes more British cavalry. We got Bavaria here. On an already tired seven pointer, get a counterattack. Mason need maybe need to fall back a little bit here against such overwhelming odds at this point. This may be a yep, here we go. An attack against Austria that needs to happen. And we'll see how well this fight goes. So far, Austria seems to be folding quite quickly. This flank actually doing decent. Bavaria here just in time to reinforce against Victor, who has several more units to throw into the front lines here. But you can see the seven pointer has been thrown back, but he is not done yet. He still has a bit of a bite. So you can see Salt is starting to go into melee, having crossed the river, and Ooh, Austria is not doing too hot at all against this fight. He does have some Hussars to commit to this, but still, that may not be enough. He's got to try to whittle down the French. Bavaria on the front lines. The UK sending in some very tired cavalry, I imagine. Russia still going. Oh, man. These guys turned the wrong way. Yeah, they were. That's a bummer. Nice flaking charge by the Kazakis crashing into the French entire flank. And we may see some morale. Now if Russia commits their units to a frontal charge with Bavaria, they may actually have them. The men are fatigued. General's still alive though. Bavaria in melee here with the French. Uh, oh, I totally missed it, didn't I? Austria just keeps getting bayonet charged and cavalry charged, and it's just... Soltz needed a big win here, and it seems like he's getting it, because they need to uh, keep up with the heavy losses rolling back and forth over here. Our men are running for The lack of cavalry for the French is starting to tell, though. They just don't have as much to stop this Russian light cavalry in the back. They are starting to stall out the Russians, though. This Karasier is making another charge against Bavaria, trying to stop them here. Oh my gosh, Austria just got... Meleeed to Kingdom Come. <laughs> Wasn't even too much of a contest. I mean, they definitely dished out some damage still. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That's seven pointers. General finally killed. I mean, he... He... he just remember, guys. The seven pointer has been taken on an 11 pointer plus... A five pointer, I believe. Right? No, no, five point, yeah, five pointer and eleven pointer. 
And this is what the seven pointer's been up against. So if he's been delaying the Russians, who's I believe Barclay, who's their highest coalition's highest point. And then of course you have the five pointer. He's pushing in here on the flank. Bavaria's having to uh, pull back. Austria's almost gone. So despite some heavy losses and some victories for the coalition, it may not be enough. I'm surprised the coalition aren't trying to pull back to save All men are their lines over here. And I do believe the Wellington was a Cav Corps. Now that I think about it, yeah, yeah, I only had it 480 men. He was definitely a Cav Corps, and I don't see a lot of the cavalry left. There's some right here. Hey, the Cav Corps actually was working for them too. Some scattered Austrian resistance, but for the most part, those lines are gone. Fighting for this LOC. Bavaria's going for artillery. Let's see if they... Uh, nope, they're not going to get it. They are going to go for a bayonet charge on the French line, though. And here comes Russia around the flank. Bavaria going for yet another artillery piece. The man of fatigue must rest of Ah, uh, the five pointer is here to try to reinforce. Bavaria is doing an excellent job here. Ooh, some nice flanking shots on that cavalry. Still, though, Victor is taking some losses here. This flank is All quite rough. Running, it's probably going to end up being the five pointer. Except to Isles with Salt. That's mostly going to have to face off against this victorious coalition. And you see, Mason and Victor are pretty much spent. They've been fighting since pretty much the beginning of the match. They are starting to claim LOCs on the way back. Yeah, they're they're taking they're taking several LOCs here. Trying to secure that. I mean, there's tons of time left. We've only been recording for 17 minutes. Trying to run down the Austrians. Gosh, it's not gonna it's not gonna work too well. Oh, they caught one. They're winded now. Definitely some shooting in melee. Oh, they did break though, but still, that's unfortunate. So the five pointer is taking over his right flank here as best they can with Bavaria. I mean, Bavaria actually has a decently large army. Seventeen, uh, almost eighteen hundred men. We got that Russian cavalry hovering. It is going. There's a square trying to hold them back. We have the melee focus trying to focus down Bavaria as they pull back. There it is.
Is that a back charge? It is. And these Gasaris finally do break, but they've caused a lot of havoc over time. Yeah, Russia has... Barclay is pretty much gone. Uh, he has, like, nothing left. Except to Bavaria. He's pretty much fighting against everybody. Soltz had a pretty easy time of it, I'd say. He did take well, losses, don't get me wrong, but in all consideration, and yeah, he took almost, him and the five-pointer probably have taken minimal casualties compared to the other two players, Victor and Mason. Ah, uh, Crossier is fighting here. Artillery piece, they got a perfect field of fire here. I'll call him. Yeah, I suspect this is about to be over. Ooh, got a cab charge as well. Oh, they form a square against these cross ears. We have killed their generals. Now they must pray. Oh, it's so, so much detail still. It always amazes me with this game. Hopefully, the editing and rendering doesn't take that detail out. But for me, it looks beautiful. Here we go. Another square about to get charged, I'm assuming. Or they're just going to shoot it into oblivion. Ooh, my gosh. Yep. But I do believe that actually is a battle. Man, what a short battle. 23 minutes? I mean, for getting back into it, after getting off of work, I'm okay with a shorter battle. My brain's usually pretty foggy. Right after get back from work. So, I will take it. Alright, let me hit the fast forward button here. I don't know if there's anything left. Yeah, so... Hmm. Looking at what happened, so they made a push. I think they pushed really hard on the 7-pointer, really hoping to squash them sooner. And Austria just Glorious absolutely... Victory, Got ripped yours. apart here on this flank it with Salt going in. I mean, it was it was just they they Austria didn't stand a chance. Unfortunately, they they're yeah they they needed a Cav Corps <laughs> to protect them as well. And I think Wellington was mostly over here against uh, Victor and Mason, and uh, it worked out better. I mean, yeah, sure, Victor took heavy losses, so did Mason, but I mean, they were able to dish out some casualties of their own inflict some losses so anyway let me put the results here so you guys can see and an, so this was a obvious rc death match victory here so you have heine he was a substitute from hiller helping play with the rc um he was playing the five pointer you can see he got 781 for the kills only took 379 for the losses yeah he was he was more late game able to 
tip the scales, basically. Bring back militia playing as a seven pointer with 773 for the kills. He took heavy losses, taking on that Barclay in uh, five point red or red, reed or whatever his name was. TG Ross, he was playing the eight point salt. He did amazingly well, 25 27. Um, and then you have Pope playing as Victor with 10 of 41. On the other side, you have Duke Bob Ross as eight point Wellington, Cav Core 782 for the kills, Z1. Uh, I do believe he was playing Barclay, 11 points with 1483. You have Yesin. He was playing the Belgard, Austria, with 690. Then you have Angry Welshman playing as the five point Bavaria with 735 for the kills. You know, 700 kills on both sides, like the, for the most part, minus, uh, you know, the eight point Salts. Everybody else had some pretty comparable kills within, you know, each other especially even the uk's cav core 782 for the kill that's pretty good for only 480 men he almost doubled his kills so i'd say you know still a good game very short so sorry about that <laughs> i know you guys prefer uh you know some bigger uh longer of battles but yeah that'll be the uh, battle today guys thank you so much for joining me hope you guys enjoyed if you'd like to support this channel um you can hit that subscribe button it also lets you know when i post and uh yeah <laughs> you guys have a great day stay safe and as always i will catch you all in another video